Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Red Stars is media availability. Um, we have Coach Petroselli here with us. Um, if you could please use the raise your hand function if you have a question, and we'll use it to call on you. Um, who wants to kick us off? Jeff, go ahead. Uh, I, I guess I will. Hey, Chris, um, thanks for joining us. Um, we we just got the news with with Michelle obviously this morning. Can you give us uh, any insight into to what that looked like on your end when you know when you found out about it? Um, how everything happened from your perspective? Yeah, I, I don't know that there's much I can I can share with you. Like you know the the club has provided a statement, and you know really my my goal here was to talk about the match. So I'm hoping I'm hoping we can. We could head in that direction, you know. Um, I found out, I guess, the way everybody else did. So um, I, I don't really have have too much that I, I can't really add anything to the conversation. I appreciate that. Um, player wise, um, have you been able to talk to the team or anything? I've not had. Uh, you know, we came back um, from Houston yesterday, and we we don't train until one o'clock. So I first see them at at, at noon. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, Steph, go ahead. Thanks. Hey, Coach. On on that note, you know, uh, you know, who are the locker room leaders that maybe you look to to keep everyone settled in the situation, especially coming out of maybe you guys have had some tough results, um, and you know, you see the formation is like I don't want to say struggling, but I guess maybe that's that's your department. Um, what's your assessment on on how things are going with how you started the season and, and then looking forward to adjusting to the, like, maybe you know, feel more solid there. Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's clear we've given up too many goals. I think that's, that that's obvious. And it's, just, you know, I think it's a simple, simple game, right? You score more than the other team and, or you give up less and we, we haven't given up less. Um, and so it's been, it's been a bit of a struggle for us, obviously, you know, uh, a lot of players, you know, left in the off season, uh, we, we had some, I think players come in that replaced them that are, that have done well and the loss of mile, um, certainly hurts, but, um, you know, we're not, we're not done. We're not, you know, season's long from over a lot of games left. Um, you know, we do have a, a core group of leaders that, you know, uh, with Alyssa right at the top of the group, um, that I think have their handle on, on the, um, on the locker room and, uh, nobody's quitting. Nobody's giving up. Um, we'll come out and we'll play hard on, on, on Sunday, whether we win. And if I could, sorry. Oh, sorry. Keep going coach. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, I said, you know, we're going to play hard on Sunday and whether we win or not, who knows, but we will play hard. And if I could follow up specifically about Bianca San George, obviously she had that that goal, but I'm just wondering, you know, how you're feeling about her positioning there over that right winger area. Yeah, she's done well. Um, she's been been explosive. Um, she's been difficult to deal with. Uh, very good uh, getting to the end line, putting the ball across. Um, found herself in a good spot to finish. Uh, almost finished another one in in, in that match. Um, I think the I almost feel like, you know, moving her further forward has kind of unleashed her a little bit and given her a little more freedom. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Steph. Joe, go ahead. Thanks, Emmanuel. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate the time as always. Uh, just curious, uh, the availability of Penelope Hawking for Sunday, and is there an update with uh, Shana's ankle as well? Thank you. Uh, yeah, Penelope, I think, will be, will be okay. She, you know, she was sick throughout the week, but she's feeling better. Um, Shana has made progress. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that she's she's in training a little bit today, probably, and then maybe fully in tomorrow and available on Sunday. But um, we're not quite there yet to say she's ready, but but she's getting close. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Uh, Jeff, go ahead. Uh, Chris, just a couple on the the on field front, um, you, you had kind of mentioned in, in previous, I guess, weeks or months of just sort of like the identity of the team and, and, you know, relating that to the system and the formation, I'm wondering sort of, um, 
is that still something for you that is very much, you know, stick to, to the plan of, of that? Do you, do you tinker a bit given some of the struggles? Yeah. Uh, you know, um, we have uh, what we want our identity to be, but we haven't looked that way. And, and we've struggled with that. Um, we've struggled to keep the ball, uh, especially in, in our last two or three matches. Um, we've struggled to get pressure higher up the field. Um, so I, I do think, you know, we are tinkering. We are, we are looking at, you know, how do we, how do we become successful? Um, and, and are there other ways? The thing is, our team is built to keep the ball. Um, it's kind of players that we have. And so I, I don't know that we can totally become just, uh, you know, knock it forward and run after it, dig it out first and second balls. I just don't know that our team is built that way. Um, so we got to we got to find a way to be better at keeping the ball. Um, and and just to follow up quickly, the um, you know, I appreciate maybe this is you know something for the players themselves, but I'm just wondering kind of you know as you go through some of these matches where you know you've given up a few goals and and you've got players who are fighting for World Cup spots too. Are, are you sort of like how are you managing that with them in terms of like? you know, they've got that on their mind and, and they're looking and, you know, maybe they're even a defender in, in these five goal games. Like, how are you sort of communicating with them in terms of that that process where they've got these sort of dualities of how they have to think about about these results and performances? Yeah, I mean, you know, we don't we don't spend a lot of time talking about, um, you know, their national team situation um, because honestly, like, I don't, I don't have a lot of control over it. And, and they've even said, you know, they're going to pick who they're going to pick, and it's kind of out of our control. Um, but but I think we all recognize, they recognize, and I recognize that uh, the urgency um, for them to perform well. Um, and I think that there have been some days where they've been a little bit disappointed um, in, in in their performances, and, and some days where they felt pretty good about their performances as well. And, I, you know, I think... I think, you know, with Casey and, and Tierna in particular, we just have to remember those guys were off a long time, you know, and, and uh, it's, we're just into the beginning of the season and um, they're going to keep getting better and better and better. And so, I, uh, you know, I wouldn't be quick to judge their performances right now. Let's give them a little bit more time. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, Sandra, go ahead. Uh, hey there, uh, Coach. Can you hear me? I'm on my phone, so I just want to make sure I can be heard. We can hear you, Sandra. Oh. Okay, great. Um, I appreciate you taking the the time uh, today, considering the the news around the club. Um, and I know you started off the, the press conference, you know, saying that there's not a lot that you can add because you kind of found out alongside everyone else, essentially. But, um, you know, I kind of can't help but think back to your introduction to the club and, and you mentioning um, in that introductory press conference that, you know, your uh, hiring process with the Chicago Red Stars was probably one of the most, uh, you know, vigorous and extensive yeah. type of processes that you've had to go through as a coach in terms of a hiring process. Right. And I was just wondering if you can maybe expand on, on with everything that's, you know, dropped today you know, what would you like to, to maybe see moving forward uh, in terms of, you know, this current era of, of, of women's and youth soccer, you know, because you're someone with a lot of experience and in, in what you would like to see in terms of, you know, the direction of coaching, uh, you know, in this country when it comes to, to women and young girls? Well, um, look, I, th I think that um, it's clear that, you um, there, there have been some, you know, some difficult situations over, over, over the years, and um, I think it's unfortunate. Um, it's you know, disappointing at, at times and things like that. And I'm not I'm talking big picture here now. I'm not talking about our individual situation. So. Um, I think we, you know, we got to continue to uh, recruit good people into into our uh, 
into the environment. I think we've got to give them the right resources and the right support um, and continue to educate. And, uh, you know, I think there are, uh, um, myself included, when I started, and then, you know, didn't really have anybody teaching me how to uh, handle certain situations. It, it, it was something that you had to learn over time. And I, and I think that we are now in, in women's soccer in a situation where we do have mentors, uh, people who can who can help. And I think we need to utilize those resources. Um, thanks, Coach. And I, and I do have a, a player follow up for you. I don't uh, believe I've had a chance to, to get your your thoughts on the recent addition of uh, Sandra Stark with, with the team since uh, since her signing and got to see the introduction of her for the Challenge Cup. How do you continue to see this player fitting in with, with the team in such a short time? I'm excited about her. Um, you know, when you, when you get these players from Europe, you think you know what you're getting, but you don't know until they step on the field. And uh, I thought she was really good the other night. And, um, you know, she just she got here Friday. She didn't train because she didn't have all her medical uh, stuff done until until right before we left on uh, on Tuesday. And uh, she stepped in, in the match, and I, I thought she was good. Um, understands the game, very professional in the way she handles herself really clean on the ball. Um, I, I think she's going to help a good deal, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm excited to watch her play some more. That's all for me. Thanks for your time today, Coach. Yeah. Thank you, Sandra. Larry, go ahead. Hey, Chris, thanks for taking some time today. Obviously, since you've been the manager, there's been a lot of changes with the Red Stars. How do you handle these changes with your players, like the one today? How do you handle it? And how do you let them if they ask questions? I'm curious how you handle it in the locker room and, and being respectful to the players and being there and, and helping them as they adjust the changes both on and off the field. Yeah, I think, you know, these are the these are the uh, kind of things they don't go through in coaching school. You know, um, we learn a lot about how to play a 4-4-2, four, four, but, you know, handling the uh, uh, adversity and emotions and, and, and things like that are not necessarily – things that are taught. So, I mean, the communication is really important. Um, you know, communicating with, you know, the leadership uh, group first um, and, and, and being open to, to listening um, and empathetic um, and, and, you know, giving the team time to process, giving the team time to ask questions. Um, you know, we're, we're getting ready for some meetings here. And usually we, you know, we meet and it's a 10 minute meeting and then we're out on the, out on the field training. Um, I got a feeling we, we may be a little bit late to training today um, because I, I do think there'll be some questions and, and some people with, you know, some, some thoughts as to, to what's going on. So, but I, I think being available, you know, and, and, and communicating, um, I think those are probably the, the biggest things. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. Thanks, Larry. Uh, any last questions for Chris? Looks like no. All right. Thank you, everyone. I'll send out a recording shortly. Thanks.